What areas can you use cool sculpting to treat? Well, I'm going to share that with you today. Cool sculpting has been up for a very long time and has experienced uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, treatments. Uh, that said, along this time, it has gotten more and more indications on where um, it can be used effectively. And so I'm going to share where we're at today as far as which, where it is cleared for treatment and where else you might want to use it. So basically, I'm going to start from head to toe. So one of the areas you can use cool sculpting in is uh, under the chin or um, under the jawline. Sometimes you do get fat in these areas that is disproportionate. And uh, we can definitely use cool sculpting in that area. Um, another area that is probably the most common area that um, we utilize cool sculpting for is in the abdomen. Uh, both upper and lower areas you can use uh, to treat fat, period. Uh, another popular and common area we use cool sculpting for is in the uh, flanks or the uh, love handles. It's quite effective there. For women, um, there sometimes can be an area called bra fat and it is FDA approved for that area. Also in the back, we can treat any area where there is uh, fat. Uh, another area is uh, right under the buttock. So uh, this area uh, we call banana roll and uh, that is uh, another area that cool sculpting is FDA approved for. And as we go lower, um, the thighs, so more commonly is either outer or inner thighs, those are areas that we can treat. And uh, more lower down on the thighs, you can actually treat above the knee, and some people actually do get fat there, and um, we can definitely treat there. And then uh, another area that we can uh, also treat is that they approved as uh, the back of the arm. As long as there's fat there, um, you can use cool sculpting in that area. So there are a lot of areas that you can use cool sculpting for that are FDA approved. Uh, that said, you can utilize it in other areas. So this one will be called an off-label use. This is off-label use, and what that means is it's at the provider's discretion of where else we can use it. So, so another area that we can utilize is um, what we call this uh, pubic area, which is the uh, fatty upper pubic area. Sometimes people get fat in that area. We, we can use cool sculpting to treat that. Now, essentially, we can use cool sculpting anywhere else as long as there is fat there. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have, please like the video and share it.